So it's the beginning of March. Ron and I decided we're gonna go up and put a camera in a new spot where we found that buck sign here about two weeks ago. We found a really good heavy trail that comes into a staging area. And we think they're bedding up above there. We got three different spots here and they're in the shape of a triangle, a couple square mile area. We scouted a spot up top around Christmas Eve. Ron also found another spot a couple hundred yards below that spot. So we're going to go in and find that sign and see if we can track some deer movement between now and the beginning of archery season. I was looking at our pins from the other day and from where I have this pin, I'm thinking of maybe a lower bedding area, maybe a staging area for them. I thought we'll try to piece together. It's cold and it's raining and we're a bunch of idiots for being out here, but we only get one day a week to do this mostly. So we're gonna come out here for a while and get wet. More bones. Not the ones we want though, huh? So if you guys remember, Ron showed us a spot in a video a couple hundred yards up the mountain here where he saw two giant rubs. And then another 300 yards above that, up top, is where we found the other transition and the rub lines that we scouted Christmas Eve. So we're working our way up here and we're just gonna do a circle. We're gonna hit this spot, go up towards the top, look for the best sign and work our way back down the other side where we just were here maybe two weeks ago. Figure out where we're putting this camera, see what kind of deer movement we have. Pretty good rub. None of this was hit recently, but we're on some sign and that's all that matters. And we got a good scrape. Oh, that's a doozy there. Holy crap, look at that. It's hitting all the way down here. The top is bigger. This is just a little wider of a tree. When I first came in here, the very first time I found it, I came in and I popped out right around in here somewhere. You'll see there's a cut right here. They were laying in that cut there, and that little button or spike or whatever it was was on top, and that's where they ran. They ran over there, they were laying right here though. Now, you look at the map where we're at. That's where we saw them bedding the other day, or the, the thermal. So this is your thermal there, right here in this elevation. One of them. Now the hike begins. I see a fresh rub. Oh, I do you see can it. see it. See how bright and shiny it's that thing is. Right pirate at the top. But I imagine with all this green. Probably have waterfalls up there. We're going that way by your little that is like darn fresh dude like that rub. Like yes I mean I know it's wet but holy crap. It looked a lot bigger from back there probably because it was sticking out like a sore thumb. Are there any shavings on the ground? Like how fresh is it? Yeah it's been a while. But hey Still the sign we're looking for. You got your breath? You ready? Yeah, I'm good. Here we go. A giant waterfall up there, but you can't see it. We're about three quarters of the way up the mountain. Absolutely beautiful up there. Up here in these mountains, it's where I was meant to be. Keeps me from my troubles, helps me to find my peace. Oh. Standing in these waters Washes my soul clean Out here in these sticks I get a better sense of me oh. Oh.
Gonna have four legs to get up this freaking mountain. That's actually straight down. And I left this guy bring me up here. Crazy. I guess if you want to get away from people, it's a crap you gotta go through. There's some more of the sign that Ron found right around Christmas Eve. Those ones are pretty old. Definitely takes some light work to get up here, that's for sure. This guy just ran up the mountain like freaking Crocodile Dundee. Still expects me not to be out of breath. Jesus. Gotta admit, it's a nice spot. <laughs> How many people do you think coming up here? Oh, it's rough you, getting up here. You gotta walk in three quarters of a mile from the nearest road. And you gotta come through all that 800 yards. Oh, you got some stamina. I'll give you that. Not bad for a 45 year old with bad knees. <laughs> the last part of this, as far as terrain goes, the last piece of the puzzle for me to connect is because I've been above, I've been below, and I have some tracking the doorway that I'm trail that I'm about to hit maybe hang a camera on connects to the trail we were on last week and if that's the case then I know I want to squeeze in on this area and not so much concern about what I feel is bedding feeding up in that area because then I know I could still get the same kind of action and potential deer movement but that's up for the camera and some time to tell yeah I can't wait for that I'm really is, anxious uh, about that your amateur words I can run a trail camera and we're gonna see thanks Brad Love your brother. Who's Brad? My brother. Guy has a real knack for buying a perfect gift. He really does. I only get to see him maybe two or three times a year because he's out in Michigan. Oh, uh, he got you that cell camera for Christmas. Yes, sir. Thanks, Brad. You're the reason we're up here. <laughs> no, I and I actually order. got my ass kicked trying to get up here, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I said, there's three different areas that we scouted pretty hard on some new public land. And like Ron said, we're putting all the pieces together now. And we're going to track some deer between now and early archery season. So we just come down off the top here. And there's a bunch of sign here where it looks like the bucks are rubbing and going in bedding right here. There's another trail where it's going into the thickets. It's probably bedding in there. Yeah, every one of these trees in here are rubbed. And there's even a bunch of historical rubs right here. See a small little trail going in there? So it's open hardwood up here, and then it starts getting thick in here. So they're coming down in here and bedding. I'm following a heavy trail right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're absolutely bedding right here, man. When we get down through here, it's going to open up just a little bit. Probably enough you can set up to... There's no way I'd be able to walk up this path without busting him. No way. No time of day. Well, let's get out there and see what's going on. I know. This way. That's... On. This trail goes down into that staging area we were talking about, doesn't it? Yeah, but I'm trying to connect an easy access trail to that other trail. Or, yeah, we're going to end up having to come up that way. Yeah, this is going to be the way, the only way in. So, it's going to be a, on the way down, we're going to have to figure out how far is too far. I think that's why it would be a good reason to stay away from this corner. Another heavy trail. I don't want to say exactly, but it was almost like right here where that is. That little depression. Right there's that staging area. What, you mean where we were the other day? Yeah, where we saw all those tracks, and here's the trail. Yeah, when I came up here, he was, that bed that he had was up in there. And it was laid down that bad. It, it looked like he was in there for 10 years. Like he was just some fat slob, never got up, and somebody fed him. It was really bad. I mean, I never seen a bed like that. All right, so we're in a major spot. Lots of sign. And right there's a tree I think Ron's going to set up in. Come next early archery season. Got a heavy trail here, two trails there, and it looks like a really good staging area right here. Behind me, there's two more trails coming this direction. So we're gonna put a camera right here in this tree. We don't do a whole lot of cameras. We're doing it this time because we want to see what the deer movement looks like between now and early archery season. 
Let me know if you need a hand. I just, is that low enough there? Yeah, that's perfect, I think. Because that tree gets pretty thick here. I don't know if I get strapped down. Keep holding that. So I can yeah, get that tied through. Barely got to get that through. Hopefully the lock holds it because I can slip that lock around. It's like a kindergartner with a big blue pencil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that uh, facing good enough it's direction perfect, here? I think. It? Yeah, we'll, we can test it then. Uh, it should be perfect where it's at. All right. Let's, uh, we'll test it. I'll get my phone out. We'll tighten this. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay out of your way. Uh, so we're in a pretty good spot here on public land. We haven't hunted here at all yet. I'm pretty sure this tree right behind me. We're going to need a northeast wind to be able to hunt this tree. It's got good canopy. And if he's set up in this tree, I'll we'll have a shooting lane here. Shooting lane here. And also here to the left, he'll have a shot. Pretty clear there. Only about 20 yards, but that's plenty enough. And we came down from the top up there where it's hammered with rubs. It looks like a pretty good heavy trail where you, you can see where the deer are coming down through. And then there's a couple odd trails here that aren't as heavy. So he's gonna put his camera on the tree right there. Catch anything coming down through, coming this direction, and even coming from the east. There's fresh tracks everywhere in here, so shouldn't take long to start getting a couple of pictures. <laughs> 